everyone and welcome back to another Missy Maddie Minecraft tutorial video. Um, so this video is going to be a little different. Today I will be building the mushroom house that you may have seen in my Twilight Forest um, Let's Play adventure. I had a lot of questions about it so I thought what I would do is just record myself um, building it and just talk you through the process. I won't do a block for block tutorial just because um, the mushroom is like quite an organic shape. It's going to be a little bit too hard to follow I think so what I'm going to do is just guide you along and if you want to um, build it you'll get your own sort of unique design based off of what I did so hopefully you enjoy today's build and let me know what you guys think. So jumping right into things, firstly you're going to want to create a 5x5 five five cylinder shape um, just like this one here to form the basic outline of your mushroom house. You want to bring the walls of that first 5x5 five five cylinder up by 6 blocks high. Um, for this I'm using white and red concrete um, but you really can use any sort of colored block you like. You could use wool, you could use um, terracotta, just anything that you think would be easy enough to get. Um, one thing I will say is getting concrete on survival is very hard. I did that in my let's play and seriously regretted it, but for creative concrete it's fine. So for this next step what I've done is I've created a 5x5 five five square um, and basically that's been indented by one on top of the cylinder shape. I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but you can kind of see what I've done. I've teared it, sort of like a, a wedding cake. So um, again, I'm just bringing that second story up by six blocks, filling in all the walls. And I'm gonna do sort of the same thing for the third story. Um, again, I'm just going to create a little five by five square shape thing um, and bringing that up by six blocks. I think it's five by five but the good news is if you get that first cylinder you, you can't go wrong even if I'm giving you the wrong um, measurements. This is just really about trial and error so And I'm just indenting the sides a little bit just to make it a little less blocky. Um, we're going to do something similar in a second, but first we're going to build the door frame. Now this is like a door frame I always build. Um, I just stack full blocks on top of stairs to create a little circular outline like this. Chuck one in the middle and cut my door in just like that. It's super easy once you get the hang of it. I'm then going to move on to some detailing for the walls. Um, this should be as random as possible, but one thing I would say is you want to try and build um, upwards with this deta detailing rather than outwards because mushroom houses um, have a tendency to start looking a little bit phallic, for lack of a better word, especially if you build um, the first like the ground level sides out too much it, it just looks a little bit <laughs> funny <laughs> I don't know how to explain this in a in a PG manner so I'm just gonna end that there what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of um, extending out this branch which is gonna be our little um, secondary toadstool sort of thing there's no real way to describe that I think just watch it it's like a tree branch pretty much. Now what I'm doing is I'm starting on the mushroom roof and I'm just extending um, these sort of like little um, basic frames of the roof and that block goes seven wide. I hope no one's following along with this because I feel like I'm doing a terrible job of explaining all of it. But um, basically you wanna create a square outline which is I think 14? by 14? I don't know. But um, if you bring seven blocks out from the wall like I did, 
you should be fine. I'm going to bring this up um, so it's too high and then I'm just going to follow the same sort of tearing pattern um, three times. Again, just make sure the first three tiers are two blocks high. You'll see what I mean in the video. Um, I do really need to get better at explaining myself. <laughs> um, it doesn't help that I'm concussed. My brain is working at a very slow speed right now. But again, I'm just doing the exact same thing. I'm indenting the roof blocks by one and um, wrapping it right around in this little square, bringing it up by two. Um, and once you've done that three times, I started trying to tear the roof off a little bit faster. And so instead of bringing it up two blocks high, I just did, um, one block for the next one. Oh, I tell a lie. No, I've done another two tiers. <laughs> Gosh, I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, so this one is where I start tearing it off. So I've done four lots of two high and now I'm going to do two lots of one high. And once you get to this point, you just um, flatten off the roof. You don't want to bring it up to a point because mushrooms don't really have like super pointy tops. Um, but you can play around with this as much as you like. So what I'm doing here is I went and had a look and I thought I just wanted to bring out the outline just a little bit so what I've done is I've gone back in and made one down from that and I've just done it one thick just to create sort of like a lip um, it's really about what you think looks good with this build there's no way I can really give you like specific dimensions here but what you see me doing here is I'm just bringing up the um, walls of the mushroom just to touch the roof because that's just how mushrooms work I don't know you want this bit to be kind of skinnier um, I feel like it gives it a nice effect if it's tapered in but this is your house what whatever you say goes whatever you think looks good is the right way to do it so <laughs> um, I'm just smashing off those little side bits just to make it nice and hollow like an actual mushroom head and I'm just doing pretty much the same thing on our little mushroom except I'm extending it out by five blocks to build that basic frame um, again just making um, just connecting all of those arms for lack of a better word and this time I think I'm gonna go up firstly I'm gonna go too high for the first tier again I think I do too high for the second tier and then I start tapering it off a lot sooner just because I don't want to get it um, too tall and I also want it to be um, a lot flatter than our big mushroom head just to give it a little bit more dimension and really help with that sort of organic natural look um, we don't want them to be identical because mushrooms in real life aren't so <laughs> just start tapering that off um, so now we just have the basic frame of our mushrooms again I'm just gonna um, connect my mushroom walls to the top of the mushroom get rid of the um, arms that we had just to make it nice and hollow I'm just gonna add some details in there and now the next step that we're gonna do is probably the most important step and that's um, really I really can't tell you how to do this but you're gonna want to start smashing the sides of your mushroom roof to really sphere it out um, you want to make it really random really organic um, no sides should be the same but you just want to get rid of that really blocky square look that we had going on for our basic shape because mushrooms aren't square they're a nice sort of curve and that's what we want to create we want this like really random sort of spherical looking thing i don't know you can kind of see what i'm doing here um just smashing the blocks randomly and filling them in so it looks a little bit more sloped um 
yeah so I did that with a small roof and you can kind of see the finished product there the next step is you want to add your little mushroom spots and now what I will recommend with this is less is more um, I think personally the fastest way to ruin the mushroom is to over spot it so you're going to want to concentrate your um, mushroom spots I'm just building them in with um, more white concrete um, but concentrate them towards the top of the mushroom head and I tend to place about four to six at the very most um, on each side of the mushroom for the big one but you can see what I'm doing here is I'm just like going back having a look at how it looks overall and just um, adding where I think one should be I don't know um, again it's just a matter of sort of looking and seeing what it needs to look a bit more natural and you're going to be the best judge of that again there's no way I can really explain it um, yeah so that is like the sort of final product you've got most of your mushroom house built that's all that the hard stuff so it's really not too difficult um, I decided to add a little balcony in here you don't have to if you don't want to um, I just like balconies I don't know so um, yeah and that is basically the mushroom house done I'll show you the finished product in three two one Well that's it for today folks, I really hope you enjoyed my little mushroom house tutorial slash speed build. Um, if you did feel free to like and subscribe, it would mean so much to me if you did. And be sure to check out my Twilight Forest Adventure Let's Play series that I've got going on at the moment. See you in the next video, bye!